On June 18th, 1775, I wrote, My dearest friend, the day, perhaps the decisive day, is come on which the fate of America depends. My bursting heart must find vent in my pen. I have just heard that our dear friend, Dr. Warren, uh, is no more, but fell gloriously fighting for his country, saying better to die honorably in the field than ignominiously hung upon the gallows. Great is our loss. He has distinguished himself in every engagement by his courage and fortitude, by animating the soldiers and leading them on by his own example. A particular account of these dreadful, but I hope glorious days, will be transmitted to you, no doubt, in the exactest manner. I next began to write that the city of Charlestown is laid in ashes. The battle begun upon the entrenchments upon Bunker's Hill a Saturday morning about three o'clock and has not ceased yet, and tis now three o'clock Sabbath afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, this battle went on for more than 24 hours. Uh, it was very long. Tis expected they will come out over the neck, meaning the neck just here, um, tonight, and a dreadful battle must ensue. Almighty God, cover the heads of our countrymen and be a shield to our dear friends. How many have fallen? I know not. The constant roar of the cannon is so distressing that we can neither eat, drink, or sleep. May we be supported and sustained in the dreadful conflict. I cannot compose myself to write any farther at present. I will add more as I hear farther. Abigail loves. So ladies and gentlemen, that is what I wrote to my husband and I hope that my thoughts today uh, upon this battle uh, have also uh, brought back memories to our own minds uh, and that we may reflect upon the bravery of our soldiers uh, on this day, um, of course, who fell valiantly.